Now to make the explanation of these neck structures a little easier, I'm going to move this from anatomical position to an inferior view. So what do we have here? This is nice, okay? This is nice. This shows us a, sort of a sectional view of what you'd see on the underside of your liver. The bottom side of your liver does not look like this. But I like this so much because it shows sort of this entanglement, almost like a web of vessels here. And it looks a little bit daunting at first, but if you look closely, there are four colors here. Four colors are definitely doable. Let's start with the easy ones. Red and blue red and blue. Red represents the hepatic arteries. Blue represents the hepatic veins. So remember, your liver is an organ, and like any other organ, there has to be oxygenated blood supply that goes to it. There's going to be a deoxygenated blood supply that pulls from it. So the hepatic arteries that you see in red here are delivering oxygenated blood to this tissue. The hepatic veins that you see in blue would be pulling that deoxygenated blood from this tissue. So red hepatic arteries, this would be the left lobe, this is the right lobe. Uh, blue would be the hepatic veins. Again, left lobe, right lobe. You can also see another lobe right here. This is called the quadrate lobe. In fact, on this model, it's kind of easy to remember because it looks sort of like a square. Um, while I'm here, I might as well point out the round ligament. Round ligament is the ligament that runs right through here as well. The other two colors we have, other than red and blue, are purple and green. Okay, so let's start with the purple first. So let me back up for just a moment and bring out another model. If you recall the digestive cube here, one of the things that you saw in a different video was I described the lumen of the intestines right here. Remember, lumen is when you're looking through the garden hose, okay? That means food stuff is moving along here. Well, as food stuff moves along here, what do we pull into these capillary beds here? Things like nutrients. This color purple that you see here this capillary bed represents where nutrients are being pulled into, okay, imagine it being pulled into your blood supply in your digestive system. From there, what happens is we bring those nutrients to the liver. And we do that on something called a portal system. So the hepatic portal system basically pulls blood from your digestive system capillary beds on the model that I just showed you to this tissue right here, of course, our liver. So what happens is that blood supply runs all the way into here. This is what we call the hepatic portal vein. And the hepatic portal vein then starts to distribute, distribute, distribute. Again, it's if you follow the purple lines outward here, we're distributing the blood that came from the digestive system to our liver. Liver is a very, very smart organ. It has a lot of jobs to do. And one of the things that it has to do is it's got to regulate, you know, the nutrient content of our blood. It's got to, you know, clean out and, and purify some of the nasty stuff that we have in our blood. It really does, you know, many different things. But that blood from the digestive system has got to come here first before it goes into general circulation. But by going here first, eventually it can meet up with these hepatic veins and... Again, posterior view from the right side and from the left side. So left hepatic vein, right hepatic vein. It can meet up with that inferior vena cava, go up to our heart and go back into general circulation. So three of these colored vessels here are carrying blood. Remember, hepatic arteries in red, hepatic veins in blue, and the hepatic portal vein in purple. The last color that we have here, let me see if I can, oh, much better. The last color we have here is green. And green represents not blood, 
but the area or the vessels that bile is passing through. So bile is actually used in the digestive process, but it is made in the liver. So what you see in green here are the hepatic ducts. And coming from the left lobe, if you can trace this green one here, we have the left hepatic duct. Coming from the right lobe, we have the right hepatic duct. Let me see if I can bring this a little bit closer for you. Left hepatic duct in green. These are all right hepatic ducts in green leading to this one here. So left hepatic duct, right hepatic duct goes to the common hepatic duct. And the common hepatic duct takes that bile and it runs it to the cystic duct, which is this right here, which goes into the gallbladder. So what happens here? Your gallbladder now stores this bile. And when food passes from your stomach into your duodenum, the first part of your small intestine, it gets a signal basically that says, okay, it's time to release this bile. We need it for the digestive process. That bile then comes back out the cystic duct and it goes to the common bile duct. And from the common bile duct, it will then go off and eventually secrete into the duodenum. So red represents hepatic arteries. Blue represents hepatic veins. Purple, remember, is pulling blood from the digestive tract to the liver, so your liver can kind of analyze the blood first before it decides what it wants to do with it. Those are, there's a, that's part of the hepatic portal system, so we see these purple hepatic portal veins. Those are all carrying blood. What you see in green here, that's not blood. That's the path that bile travels along. Left hepatic ducts, right hepatic duct, common hepatic duct, the cystic duct to the gallbladder, and then of course the common bile duct, which is going to excrete out to the digestive system.